And we can go ahead and get started with today's lab notes. It is... It is that day. As mentioned, three years of lab notes today. Lab is probably going to be terrible because that's just par for the course. Good evening, Hex Hexter. What is this character? This is a Toxic Rain, Queen of the Forest, Pathfinder, Move Speed, Lab Runner. Early League, a six link short will be a problem. Not if you get the Porcupine set and then use an essence of... Uh, a scream, a shrieking essence of dread, which guarantees plus two to bow gems on it. So the last league, last league that set the that uh, div card set cost me about thirty chaos, and then the the essence cost me like two. So thirty two chaos for a weapon you're gonna be using for the, till the end of time seems seems all right. Projectile damage does nothing for Soul Rend. Um, I yeah, I think that's that's correct because it only ha it only says spell damage modifiers affect its damage over time. Not uh, what's it? Oh come on, am I? Okay, I was just on cooldown. It doesn't say projectile damage modifiers affect its damage over time. They have cards. Yeah, porcupine cards. Porcupine cards. I got a full set for 30 chaos last week. And that, and yes, this was within the first week. Prolonged pain seems a good choice. I have prolonged pain. Shrieking essence of dread. Yes, that guarantees plus two to socket to bow gems if you use that essence to craft. And as mentioned, I got that for two chaos at the beginning of last week. I'm not lying when I said this character is wearing week one gear and is still wearing week. Well, okay, now it's slightly untrue because I'm wearing that that, that all I saw Queen of the Forest from standard, but I have this Queen of the Forest that I have sitting there. Right, I'm not really using the six white sockets for anything. That just has score zero for the sake of just having something there. I was exper I was testing something. But when it comes to everything else this character's wearing, I'm not lying when it's I say it's week one gear. Everything you see me wearing was from week one of last league. Quiver is expensive? No. I mean, it's a life and res quiver. That's it. <laughs> Herald of Agony? Um, I don't think, I don't like Herald of Agony as a lab build because it's minions in lab and that can result in bad things such as, oh hey, that a, oh hey, it's portal phases. This is easy. Azar doesn't really add anything to Azar. Just my guy make sure I don't kill the portals and Herald of Agony just one shot the portals. Vendor quiver. Oh yeah, <laughs> wearing a vendor quiver. So thirty-six cast for life firing start at least merciless. Uh, Uber. I mean, I'm literally doing Uber live on this character as we speak. <laughs> so you that thirty-six cast for Uber lab starter or Uber lab farmer. Okay, and I guess if you want to factor more, another six chaos for Queen of the Forest. And then you don't need to run with the Votos because the Votos tends to be expensive at the beginning of the league for a while. So you can leave up the Votos until you can afford one. But you can just league start with that. So 42 Chaos. Um, the Votos is highly recommended. You don't need to actually wear have it though. That's the big thing with the Votos. Highly recommended. You can definitely do it without. It's just... You're gonna be 20% slower. It's still doable, and what's it? It's probably gonna be better than Mercer's Lab running, if you can handle Uber. Because uh, since you'll be, able, you should be able to handle Uber Lab. Actually wearing a suit, which is sad. Yeah. <laughs> Today is a special day, so donning, donning. Slightly, slightly better looking, slightly, slightly better looking clothing, I guess. How do you go about finding a reputable lab farmer? Because you assume you're going to be running on league. Finding a reputable lab farmer, what do you mean by that? 
Like, well, when you say live, I mean like a person who does carries. Thank you very much, Dad. Oh, you, okay, so you, oh, okay, you need someone to enchant stuff for you. Um, I get my, my assumption would be people who've done enchants before will do them again. So whoever you did an enchant service last time, do another one. And yeah, there's Keed in chat who, he is a, he is a ladder pusher. And while pushing lab, or ladder, he also does enchant services. So he is, if there's anyone, it's him. He's had a very po fairly positive reception from my guild. Oh, sorry for bumping the mic stand. Wouldn't be a suit stream if I accidentally punched the mic, the, the pop filter. There's a dark train down there. You need it on standard though. Oh, that's a problem. How do you find the secret doors? Uh, for the secret passages? Um, the main thing is look for the object mentioned in the additional notes and look at the reference picture. And then you can also check these spawn points and try to, and try to match them up. So match up spawn points with reference pictures. Yeah, you messaged me today. Yeah, I told you to message me today about your live starter. I can definitely take a look at it today. I wanted to start earlier, however I couldn't. I've, I've mentioned this a couple times. So, unfortunately I won't get nearly as many builds as I want because I am pressed for time tonight. That's the escrow gauntlet. Oh wait, how do I personally do it? I know what exactly what they look like. <laughs> that is the, the that is the honest to god truth. I know exactly what the I know what the hallway before the room looks like that contains a secret passage. I should fight the last phase blindfolded because <laughs> it's been three years. No, no, yeah, that's that's why that's why you see me like. What's it? When you see my head in this position, I'm looking at the screen. When you see my head in this position, I'm looking off to the side. At, um... What's it? At chat. If you, that, if you see my head to the side a lot, and me just running to the lab is because... And not looking at the screens, because I'm able to do that. I'm somewhat autopiloting through. And using my peripheral vision, because I just... I have been doing lab for way... I've been doing... Way too long. I've been doing lab for a long time. I've seen near, nearly every single lab that has existed, so that's Argus. Like... <laughs> my room recognition is on point. Purifying flame totems, not to confuse holy flame. Yeah, I, I know, yeah. I figured that out yesterday. Thank you for letting me know. I accidentally take the zealot's oath in it. Okay, so you don't want Zealots within it. Gotcha. Um, I might have to get you to send that to me a bit later as well, since I need to take care of Uber, then Merciless Lab Notes, and then I'll get to your build. Uh, is the MK tank... MK2 tank build good? MK2? Mark... Oh, uh, 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 like, uh, Engineering Attorney's Mark II tank? Yes? Yeah. Any 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 jug build, any jug build this period is good for lab. It's really hard to go wrong with a jug build for lab. What am I starting with? I'll be starting with a toxic rain trickster in attempt at making a lab and making a spellcaster lab farmer. The character will be moving through lab via a, a, a leap slam, so it will be move skilling through. Which means I need to get some attack speed. Oh god, I just remember that. Uh, that might, I might need jewels for that. I might need, uh, I completely forgot that I might need some attack speed. I should check that again. 
Power Trapper is minor for lab. Uh, good. They're good for sustain, good for damage, but they don't add anything to maneuvering. Hey, good evening, the end. How have you been? And thank you very much, man. What good helmet enchant when you're broke? Um, nowadays, none. <laughs> For I find it really hard to recommend helmet enchants nowadays because of how diluted the pool is. And for, for those who are wondering if there's any lab enchant changes happening in 3.6, there are more enchants are being added. That's the change. That's the change that's happening to enchants. And it doesn't feel good. <laughs> that's a dark shrine. Okay, you know, that, uh, that's fair, I guess. Bow and helmet. <laughs> Since you can stack a minion enchant with the minion damage, that's a, you can get like 60% damage for a specific type of minion. Did I see the Slayer Gloves? I have not. So can go wrong, Living Nerds, Champion War Team Build. Yep. People pick up Minion Wheel, it's generic damage. Um. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. No, Spiritual Guidance. Or the spiritual aid, which one of those? Cheap bit, yeah. Ah, uh, that's fair. Man, I. S In theory, yes, that is probably the like the best starting base to enchant on. But my brain does a screaming helmet enchants are so bad right now. Why are you doing that? If you're going for profit, I don't really know if helmet enchants are nice enough to do that. I'm still partial to doing boot enchants, especially since you can stack on top of two tones now, so you can get two tones with Ellie Pen or Regen or Attack Cast Speed, Leech, etc, etc. That's probably a really nice thing to do as well. Or that's probably what I'm going to end up do doing is two tones. Two tones or my usual Centric route. Stack that. Scene. Yes. Lab enchants are no longer implicits, they are their own separate mod. So you can have both an implicit and and a lab enchant. So you can have the res from two tones with Ellie Pen or Regen. You can have minion damage with a lab enchant on the um the bone helmet, which is what the end was talking about. If you have the spiritual I think it's spiritual guidance uh keystone that makes minion damage just global damage, you can have a minion helmet, you can have a bone helmet that gives you twenty percent damage. Then you can get an extra enchant on top of it, so you're gonna get like up to 60% damage if you so, if so chose to for uh, on a helmet. <laughs> enchant devotos for plus two soul for a mirror within the first 15 hours. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that, I mean the, that's one way to that's one way to do that. All right, I did find everything in lab, so all I gotta do is tag this room. Go ahead and hit here. If you're more on the consistent returns of boots, but if you must do helms, probably just the usual Stark Devoto is now the new, new nerf bone helm was up to 20. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. That that'd be that's fair. And we got blade sentries. Alright. <laughs> I looked away. I looked at chat for half a second. Oh my god. Um well, that happened. <laughs> uh I feel like that's kind of perfect. But oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. Well, let me go ahead and get these lab notes made. <laughs> 